Welcome back to the Keto Connect Kitchen, guys. Today we're making a meal prep style recipe. We're gonna be making a low carb pizza casserole. And the base of this is gonna be some cauliflower. So you're gonna get like a really nice hearty bite and then we have some classic pizza toppings. We're gonna do some ground sausage, some pepperoni, cheese, mushroom, onion, all of the good stuff. So the first thing we're gonna do to get started is we are gonna wanna steam this cauliflower. So this was just a large head that I had already cut up into small florets and you can see the size here. You could even rice it probably. If you want riced cauliflower, that would work great. So what we like to do is just get a large pot, one to two inches of water in the bottom and then add the vegetable and then cover it with the lid and just steam it for four to five minutes until it's fork tender. So before we add the cauliflower in, I'm actually gonna get the water boiling and then once it's boiling, we can toss in our cauliflower and cover it with the lid. So while the water is boiling, I'm gonna chop up some onion we're gonna put into this casserole. We're gonna do about half the onion or you could do half a cup. I'm gonna go pretty big with my slices. So now we're just gonna add in the cauliflower, cover it with a lid. So while your cauliflower is steaming, we're gonna get the rest of the ingredients cooked down. We're gonna start with our sausage. So here I have, I actually got hot Italian sausage because I wanted a little kick and I wanted the seasonings already in there. But you can also just get like plain ground bulk sausage and add your own seasonings. Medium high heat, and this is a pound. So we're gonna add in our sausage without this. Give it a quick break up. So we're also gonna add in our onions and about a half cup of mushrooms. What's the best pizza chain in the United States? Chain? Yeah. I guess I would say Pizza Hut. Next would be Papa John's. So let's break this up and mix it. And we're gonna cook this down until the onions and the mushrooms are tender. We're looking at five to six minutes here. Cauliflower, that's probably good. And let's do the fork test. Yeah, this is, it's perfectly fork tender. That was probably about four minutes. So we're gonna drain this and then set it aside until we're ready to add it to the skillet. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna keep breaking up this sausage but we can add in our garlic. So two cloves of garlic minced is ideal, but I'm a little lazy and we have this guy in the fridge. So I'm gonna add probably like two teaspoons of this. So now we're gonna add in our pasta sauce. So you can just buy store-bought pasta sauce. You can buy tomato sauce. You can buy crushed tomatoes even if you want, but we have a bunch of jars on, of these on hand. This is Rao's homemade marinara sauce. It's low in carb. We like to look at the ingredients when we're buying tomato sauces or pasta sauces, and we're looking for no added sugar, no added ingredients that seem unnecessary. So let's add one cup, and we're also gonna turn down the skillet to medium low. And at this point, if you were using unseasoned sausage and just plain tomato sauce, you definitely wanna go heavy on the seasoning. So we're gonna add just a little bit of extra Italian seasoning we have and then we're also gonna do a heavy dosing of freshly ground pepper and some salt. Now let's give it a mix. Perfect. Now we're ready to add the cauliflower. And again, this is totally optional. Like you don't need this base. We just like to have it, it makes it more of like, you know, just a full meal. It's great for meal prep. Your kids and family will love it. So we're just gonna add this in. So let's mix this all around. This is looking good. So at this point, you can turn the burner off. So now we're gonna sprinkle this with about one and a half cups of shredded mozzarella. Make sure you get everything covered. We're gonna top it with two toppings. So we have some pepperoni here and some black olives. Both are totally optional. You can do whatever toppings you want, but we're gonna do the pepperonis and the olives. So about half a cup, but I'm just gonna, you know, place it as I please. The sous chef always deserves a little bite. Up. He's been so much help today. What a good boy. And then lastly, black olives. This is Matt's favorite. This is my least favorite. So it's a little compromise. I love pepperoni, Matt loves olives. Throw some on. 
Nice presentation. So now we're gonna pop this in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes at 375 degrees until the cheese is fully melted. The edges are golden brown. And remember, everything underneath is fully cooked through. So all we're looking to do is really just heat it through and melt that cheese. This just came out of the oven. It is looking perfect. So you can see that the pepperonis have crisped up. That's what I like to see. So I'm gonna scoop some out on a plate. Oh yeah. So I would top this with some sour cream or like avocado, that's my personal preference. But this right here is the perfect meal. So let's give this a taste. Mmm, it's perfect. What I like about adding the cauliflower is the difference in texture. So you have the, the soft tender sausage, slightly tender but crunchy cauliflower, and then you got some onion, you got some mushroom the fat from the pepperoni and the olives. So this is delicious. Make this at home. Linked below is the blog post on how to make this step-by-step -step with all the ingredients and let us know what you decide to put into your pizza casserole. Thanks for joining me.